Robbed of the golden years of life, 78-year-old Marcelina Alexis, who was brutally murdered at her residence on January 27th, was laid to rest on Monday, February 27, 2023. Loved one, Dr. Armstrong Alexis, who delivered the eulogy, told a church packed with mourners of the moment when he was blindsided by the tragic news. A sobbing Eleanor says to me, someone stabbed Auntie Marcel and she died. The shock was instant, surreal. The immediate grief numbing. How come? Why? Where? When? Who did this? These were but a flood of questions pouring from my mind in total disbelief, but trying to hold it together. It was a somber send-off, with tear-filled eyes under the roof of the St. Joseph the Worker Roman Catholic Church in Grosley, as loved ones sought refuge in the arms of one another. Auntie Marcel is one who embraces all and fears none. So how could she be the victim of such dastardly and cowardly act? I asked myself. I demanded answers, but was quite aware that it was much too soon and that in time, it would all be revealed and calm would once again replace our collective shock. Grandma Alexis was a rock. She was headstrong, loving, giving, willful, and full of surprises. It was never a dull moment hanging around with her. Grandma was very industrious. We all remember on many occasions, she would say she loved working hard, loved doing her housework, especially washing dishes. She sewed bags and sold them at the market. She was quite meticulous and diligent about it and took pride in her bags. They were the best bags you could get at the Castries market. The pews were crammed as family, friends, well-wishers, and community members paid their last respects to the slain mother of five and pillar of Grosely. The men of the cloth encouraged grieving relatives to emote given the appalling and sudden violent nature of Mrs. Alexis's demise. Shockingly, the accused is reportedly a 15-year-old boy who is a ward at the boys' training center. Minors belong with their parents or with their guardians. If they find themselves at an institution, it means that all is not well there. And what, what we hope will happen, because it's in the, the first time in the history that I know, in the history of the boys' training center, that such a gruesome act has been committed by one of the wards. Um, it means that the authorities will now have to open their eyes and to see that more help is needed for them and to provide it. To ensure that BTC is not, is not the graduation hall for bodily. Mrs. Alexis was laid to rest at the Grosley Cemetery. Sola Jean Alfred, HTS News Force.